Bhagavad Gita, text 4.41 One who has renounced action through yoga and whose doubt is cut asunder by knowledge and is thus composed in his self, O Dhananjaya, is not bound by karma. Here, Krishna speaks of karma yoga in the words Yoga Sanyasta Karmanam. The karma yogi is one who has disciplined his actions in consideration of the principle of sacrifice outlined in this chapter. Madhusudan Saraswati says, He has dedicated his actions to God through yoga consisting of the attitude of equanimity characterized by adoration of God, as mentioned in Chapter 2, Bhagavad Gita 2.48. This karma yogi is not bound by his actions and continues to practice karma yoga, cultivating the inner spirit of renunciation, leading to meditation and devotion proper. This cultivation is what Krishna instructs Arjuna to do in the next chapter, while also describing the dynamics of renouncing action in the direct culture of inner wisdom, the contemplative life. Krishna also speaks of the results of karma yoga, the removal of doubts through knowledge, yan sanjina samshayam, the firm resolve of self-composture required for a contemplative life of renunciation, atma vantam, and freedom from the obligation to act further in terms of karma yoga, na karmani nibadnanti. Vishwanath Chakravarti understands the word atma vantam as pratyak atmani knowledge of the self as an individual soul. In this rendering, self-knowledge serves as a precursor to the doctrine of devotion that is only beginning to unfold at this point. Krishna has not yet begun his discourse on devotion itself. He is building up to it by setting a firm foundation for spiritual life. Bhakti assimilates both karma and jnana, as it involves the acts of the senses and working organs, as well as the subtler mental powers and consciousness. However, in both these domains, bhakti involves the culture of spiritual emotion for God. Karma yoga involves dutiful detached action and jnana is emotionless. Bhakti, while including the objectivity and absence of material emotion involved in karma and jnana, is based in positive spiritual emotion for God, either that shared with the neophyte by an advanced devotee, or that arising from the soul proper in advanced stages of devotional culture.